The College of Engineering here at Cal Poly Pomona is the largest engineering college in Southern California. We're located on 800 acres of land that was deeded to the state of California in 1949 by W.K. Kellogg. We are the highest ranking polytechnic in the nation on the Social Mobility Index, which measures the extent to which universities educate economically disadvantaged students at a lower tuition. We pride ourselves on a learn by doing model where we educate our students through hands-on learning and we focus on teamwork, communication, and creativity. Our mission is to produce highly qualified engineering students who can tackle real-world problems and hit the ground running on day one. The College of Engineering at Cal Poly Pomona is one of the largest and most diverse colleges of engineering in the nation. We have very strong industry, government, and community partnerships uh, that help students with internships, co-op opportunities, and careers when they graduate from the College of Engineering. Our efforts to increase the participation of women in our program include four distinct strategies, early outreach, recruitment, retention, and recognition. For early outreach, we have the Feminere program that works with K-12 schools. For recruitment, we have intentional programming that reaches out to students prior to matriculation. For retention, we provide a personalized learning environment for students to assist them in their career. And recognition events are to help students celebrate their successes all along the way. I'm really proud of the fact that these incoming students are able to be in a program where they have a sense of belonging. The fact that they get to walk in and have colleagues in classes and not be the only one or two students in a class of say 30 to 40 who are women or women identifying, that should help them with their networking and they get free tutoring for the program or what we call supplemental instruction. They have peer tutors who work on them in small groups. They get to go to workshops where there are industry representatives coming to tell them how does that work when you get out there and get a job? What are the critical skills that are necessary? The WISE program stands for Women in Science and Engineering, and we collaborate across three different colleges, the College of Engineering, the College of Science, and the Huntley College of Agriculture. The Fearless Classroom Student Edition project is, is part of our Fearless Classroom project to create psychologically safe classrooms to enhance student learning on the campus. The main thrust of the program is to train faculty, but in working with the Women in Science and Engineering group, our focus has been on training students in being fearless in the classroom. I give guest lectures every semester to different classes, and I can always tell when I'm walking into a fearless classroom, because there's a whole different environment there. It feels relaxed. Everyone is talking to each other in the room, not just little cliques in places and everybody feels comfortable. The College of Engineering at Cal Poly Pomona has a Feminere program, which is our early K-12 outreach program. We serve over 90 school sites in Southern California. The first year of the program focuses on creative robotics. In the second year, students do wearable technology, and in the third year, they complete curriculum focused on Pi robotics. I had the opportunity to attend Cal Poly Pomona and get a degree in chemical engineering. At that time, there were maybe single-digit percentages of women in the School of Science and Engineering. Uh, that's improved some, but not where we want it to be. Our real participation is about paying it forward, giving those that are younger than us the opportunity to get into college, study in a field of interest without having to bear a lot of the financial burden. So I hope to enable them so that we can improve the representation of women in the field of science and engineering. Women today represent half of the workforce, and yet when you get into the field of science and engineering, the numbers are improving, but they're still only about 24%. We're really working to try and enhance the representation of women in these fields and give them an opportunity to really compete on a level playing field. I graduated from Cal Poly Pomona Electrical and Computer Engineering program all the way back in 2001. Since then, I have been an advocate for women in engineering on the Cal Poly campus and, and actively recruiting on the Cal Poly campus. In 2014, we started the Women in Engineering program. It has since become the Women in Science and Engineering. We've been able to have mentoring programs, a lot of 
presentations and conversations with women that are getting their degree in engineering at Cal Poly Pomona and helping prepare them for a life and a career in engineering after college. I have found it extremely gratifying as I've gone through my career to find opportunities to give back to others and I hope others will follow as well. We want to create environments where women and many others who are underrepresented in these disciplines feel like they belong, giving that confidence to the women in the program so that they don't feel shy, that they can move forward. Because there will be instances where you may feel challenged in interactions with others, and that's a fact of life. And why is that? Because there's such a low percentage of women and others in those rooms. And so you will probably stick out, and then you need to know how to make yourself feel heard. What we see for the future of women engineering students here at Cal Poly Pomona is an opportunity to become leaders and role models to inspire the next generation of young girls to consider careers in engineering and STEM. If they succeed, they can lift their families, they can lift their communities, they can become trailblazers.